Paul Cratter here. This is kind of a, a fun little, little project. I, I find a lot of artists, when they're working with trees, painting trees, they really aren't uh, designing them all that well. And especially in the sketch stage, they, you use a, kind of some wimpy drawing techniques. And this is a, a technique that will not allow you to draw wimpy because this is all construction paper. Basically, this is a four value uh, study in construction paper, white, black, and two grays. And I'm gonna cut these shapes out and glue them on here as my comp, as my uh, basically thumbnail sketch. So this is nothing more fancy than something you'd get out of any uh, uh, store, uh, art store. And what I'm looking for is a is some variety of different shapes. And especially when you get to the trees, you cannot, with construction paper and scissors, you can't, you have to cut out a very hard edge subject. And this keeps the artist from doing something that is non, quote, non-specific. So I'm going to glue these down, cut these shapes out. I've got a couple pre-cut already. And when I start my uh, drawings uh, in my sketchbook, my thumbnails, I'm using a ballpoint pen and I'm trying to get a variety of different grays, black and white but I still have to press hard to get black. I have to cross hatch to get a couple different grays. This is, it's either black, it's white or gray, and there's no in-betweens. So I'm not trying to be too terribly specific. It's not, this is not a test, this is not supposed to be really, really accurate, but it's going to give you something very bold and very uh, unique to, uh, to look at to see how graphic your image can be. A couple more here and then I'll glue these down. So I find that students that are struggling with seeing good graphic shapes in organic subject matter, like trees, that this forces the artist or student to make real specific shapes. And it makes you a better designer. It's just some spray glue, even tape these down. This is, uh, this is spray glue. Uh, you can even use, you know, scotch tape if you wanted to, uh, to adhere this. It's, it's, it's really non-specific. The spray glue, it's just a little more, um, you don't see the bumps and ridges that the tape would show. And you can get as fine and as many details as you want, or to be as kind of bold and as simplified as you want. Sometimes you use an X-Acto knife but a pair of scissors is just as effective.
But there's your, there's your composition. Simple, like I said, there's four values here. It's white, it's black, and I have two grays, relatively close together, but to give you a little, little separation there. So this is a, a great way to do something that is very specific, that is not a, uh, it's not a light drawing, it's not wimpy, it is solid. Uh, and it's permanent, and it gives you gives the artist uh, a really clear view of establishing three or four specific values. So I hope this is something that uh, that might help you a little bit different way to work than than with a with a paintbrush or a pencil or a pen uh, as construction paper. Something a little different, but uh, very specific with uh, when you're designing uh, your your composition. Thanks a lot. Hope this helps.